of Penn State fans on your feet for your 2014 seniors. Spencer Bryant, Michael Clark, Cody Cook, Josh Pierce, Troy Summers, TJ Sutton, and John Wilson. From Schoonover Stadium on the campus of Kent State University in Kent, Ohio, it is game number 53. Tonight, the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Akron Zips will meet in the rubber match of this three-game Mid-American Conference Series. The 3-2, and it's swung on, yanked to right. This is near the line. It's a base hit past Lawrence to the wall. Up against the fence, Wilson is coming around. Summers is held. Wilson scores, and the Golden Flash is in flight on senior night. 1-0 over Akron. 2010 crown. Sutton to left field, near the line, tailing away. Fair ball, and it goes past Simonton. All the way to the wall. Summers and Zaleski are going to walk in. And Sutton on senior day delivers an opposite field two-run double. 3-0. The 1-2. He swings and drives it to the gap in left center field. Does Revez. It's down. It's past Dehart to the wall. It'll score two. Sutton scores. Here comes Wagler. He scores. Revez with a stand-up triple. Five to nothing. Here in inning number one, and here comes Fred Worth. We'll have a pitching change. Now the payoff runner goes from first, and that's driven to the gap in left center field. That isn't going to be caught. Down it goes. Extra bases for Beckner. Revez scores. Oldie scores. Seven nothing on the first inning touchdown. Well, that's the Golden Flash's fifth hit of the afternoon. All of them for extra bases. Here's the 2-0. Swinging a shot to right field. In, back, over the head of Lawrence. Hitting third base is Beckner. He will be waved around. Flying into third with Wilson. Safe with a sliding triple. Boy, they are lacing the ball all over this yard here in inning number one. Regular season champ last year. This ball is fisted into right. That's going to fall for a base hit. And the score is Wilson for the second time this inning. It's 9-0 flashes here in the first. It's a good feeling tonight. You know, just uh, for the last three weeks, we've battled some really tough games. And to um, respond after, you know, the, the close win last night like we did today. And uh, especially offensively in that first inning, put a nine spot up. But, you know, that's, uh, I, we haven't done anything like that all year since Arizona. Um, so it was good to, good to see our offense click like they did. And, you know, one through nine, everybody had really good at bats. It's funny because Johnny Wilson was picked off. I don't know if you remember, he was picked off in that first inning and they threw it away. You know, who knows what happens if they pick him off, but we really, you know, rallied after that and, and uh, strung, I think, uh, eight or nine quality of bats together in a row. And when you do that, that's what happens. You're going to put up, you know, a crooked number early, and that and that was that was important. Flashes base runner stretch out their leads. Akron plays behind the 1-0. That's corked to the gap in deep right center field by Cook. Ahart not getting that one. Up against the fence, in to score is Olvi. Here comes Beckner, here comes Summers. The throw is cut in the outfield, and it's a basis clearing double for Cody Cook, and the Golden Flashes now lead 12 to nothing. You know, the seven seniors played really well tonight. They all got an opportunity to play, and they all did a really good job. You know, from Johnny Wilson to Troy Summers to, to TJ Sutton, and then, and then the four pitchers with Clark, you know, having a good start. He was throwing no-hit baseball through five. Okay, but uh, and then Spencer Bryan getting some action who hasn't had a lot of action. He has a weight, he looked really good. And then Josh Pierce doing a good job. Um, yeah, but the, all the seniors really contributed, and that, that's what that's what senior day is all about. And that's good to see, you know. And then in a game like this, you know, it's uh, it's a fun game to play. Of Sheltron at second, trotting in to score from third is Wagler as Revez stops at second, and it's 13 to nothing, Kent State and they've continued the offensive onslaught and they've done it without the long ball. Well, as you always like to say, home runs are rally killers. <laughs> they can be. The 2-0 is drilled to deep left field and that one could be a homer. It's going to 
exit the yard, and that's a three-run blast for Zach Beckner. And the golden flashes continue to pile on with runs 14, 15, and 16. Well, the first collegiate home run for Zach Beckner was no cheapy. He wants to kill the rally, he can do so because it's 16-0. It's, it's always good to beat Akron, I mean, in any, any sport, but uh, it's good to bounce back. Um, we had a rough couple weeks there, and uh, not that we played bad, we just it just wasn't falling our way, and it was nice to bounce back and get a really nice win today offensively and pitching-wise, too. We got a really nice win today, and then obviously the nail-biter last night was, was just a good way to end the regular season. That's what we preach all year. I mean, we want to be aggressive. Uh, fastball or fastball hitters, I mean, if they're going to make mistakes and we get ahead in the count, 2-0, 3-0, 3-1, and they're going to throw a fastball, we're going to we're gonna hit it. And it was nice to see us all come together like that. It wasn't just one guy. It was a it was through the lineup all the way to 1-9. to nine. So it was nice to see that come together again, especially this late in the year. And can't write a better story than that with going out like that, but uh, especially with 19 runs. But um, it was just nice to, to to get some momentum going into the tournament because you don't want to end like we ended last week at Ball State. You never want to end like that a regular season. And yeah, we have more to play for in the tournament, but you still want to end on a high note. And there's more baseball to go, and it's it's a good feeling to go in there confident, and that's confidence is huge in this game. And the only shame of it is the architect behind it as that served a left near the line. It drops in for a base hit, reaching out to snag it as Simonton. But racing around is Wagler. He scores, and Wilson has his second extra base hit as the Flashes make it 18-0 here in the eighth. Now the pitch. Summers hits it up the middle to Rimblack. And that took an interesting hop on him, eats him up. Beckner scores. We're excited. Looks like we're playing good bowling green. Um, it's official, yeah, Bowling Green, and, and uh, tomorrow we're practicing at noon, and we're going to turn the page and start working towards Bowling Green. I mean, all these years playing, practicing, training, and it comes to an end. It will hit you eventually. You'll have some regrets, some things you'll look back on, but I think if we just, what I'm trying to do is just go out there every day and just play it as, as best as I can, like give it everything I have, and then I can't regret anything. But, yeah, it's, it's going to hit me. It hasn't hit me yet, and there's still more to go, but... It'll probably hit me probably a couple weeks after we're, we're done with the season, but hopefully that's not for a while, but it, it'll definitely hit me eventually. Couldn't have worked out any better. You get Clark into the game, and he faces two lefties to start the inning. He delivers, and he's in with a strike to the knees to the right-handed hitting Simonton, 0-1. Now the wind and the 0-1. Swing and a liner to center. Senior John Wilson cruises back. He'll make the catch, and that's the ball game. From start to finish, a senior night party here at Schoonover Stadium, a KSU KO over the Akron Zips. They beat Akron 19-0 to win the series and keep the PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge trophy in Kent for another year. The final score of this one, Kent State 19 and Akron 0.